Hey guys, this is the cast of season 13 of RuPaul's Drag Race. You may want to know some facts about us, so here's the top. Yes, I said top things to know about us. You are about to find out. I can't talk about <laughs> One thing you should know about me, honey, is that, you know, I may look gorgeous and stunning and beautiful and all those lovely superlatives. I also have a lovely personality. And this, darling, is a season of the natural state. Oh, uh, <laughs> natural as in naked. Natural as in naked. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that you must know about moi is I am a figure skater outside of drag. My signature figure skating move would probably be um... the backflip. The backflip, bitch. You're right. Oh my god. The Are you kidding? It's like I caught it. Answer for me. What really made it interesting to translate to that to the show is when I arrived, I realized, oh my god, these are the same thing. They're just the gayest sports that you could ever imagine. They're gorgeous. They're sparkly. They're dramatic, and I really use a lot of that to my advantage. One thing you should know about me is I'm sassy and brassy with comedy and drama deep. I'm nine foot tall. I'm the linebacker in a pant suit ready to slay the game. She's like a giant Clydesdale horse that is so like daunting, but is incredibly kind. And well, her her big old big old horse lips are gonna just wrap wrap themselves around you. I can stop. I can stop. <laughs> I have performed on stage with Christina Aguilera as well as Paula Abdul. I also competed in the US of A pageant system and did very, very well. So even though my drag is a little bit outside of the box, I still have that traditional pageant drag education behind me. And then last but not least, I'm definitely a little spoon. Hi, it's Kamora Hall, the Mackie's All. I'm all about the glitz and glam, the razzle dazzle, proving you shiny sparkle never go out of style. I may be small, but my fashions are large. I'm a mother. I'm the matriarch of the Iman dynasty. I am the beginning. I exude grace, elegance, and I'm also one to care about the girls. So you're going to see that during the show. I can't get away from my motherly instinct. When I see the girls are doing something, and if I feel I can aid them instead of aiding me, <laughs> I will like, okay, let me, let me, let me hit it this way. <laughs> let me sit that on. It's always something. One thing about me is that I am a full out sick me entertainer. I'm ready to show the world the Lala Ree experience, honey. It doesn't matter who else is around me, it's all about Lala Ree, <laughs> and she is the fire on the stage. A few important things to know about me is that my drag mother and sister were once on Drag Race. Google that. I was the first non Google to be featured on Cosmopolitan. I also won Drag Queen of the Year in 2018. And I know you see the beauty standing before you. When I first started drag, I was in fact a beauty queen. I actually am an immigrant from the lovely country of Scotland. Um, I moved to uh, America when I was a kid, and I'm very, very proud of my uh, culture and heritage, and I'm very connected to it. And when I see a lot of absolutely magic looks on the runway just for my wee country. Something that I'm sure you have seen about me is that I love serving looks, but this season I can't wait to show you guys so much more and how I am a delusional queen with no filter. And <laughs> you know. You're right, you're right. Yes. Oh my gosh. Hello, I am Utica Queen and I am just the farm tarot on the art goober. Hello, so I'm glad to be here. Um, just spreading gay magic from here to there and for my savior as I toss my hair. Something to expect from me is I am queen of the U, the unexpected, the Utica unexpected. And you never know what I'm gonna pull out of my, my many hats. So stay tuned and I think you're gonna be surprised. I play the piano. I love to play it um, and I love to integrate my love for music with drag. I'm also the current reigning Miss Paradise in Asbury Park, New Jersey. And my last fact, I just celebrated my two year in like in drag, just in general. When I auditioned, I had been doing drag for one year, so I'm really happy to have this opportunity. But don't get me wrong, I'm very confident in what I have to bring to this competition. 
an impression everybody gets of me is just, you know, a blonde housewife with a secret. <laughs> like, you get this sweet, innocent, you know, hi, nice to meet you person, but then the second you say go and the music comes on and the stage lights hit me, I transform into a different person. My soul leaves my body and it's just an incredible experience that I can't wait for everyone to see. Just show up and slay and leave them wanting more. <laughs> <laughs>